one of the advantages of Xero is it enables you to automate your accounting functions. And in this quick example, we're just going to show how you can create a repeating invoice that automatically sends out to your client every month um, for a particular service. So you might have a, in this case, we're going to give the example of a, a support contract. Every month we charge $500 a month. So we're just going to go create this repeating invoice. So we go to the accounts receivable section. And under new invoice, there's an opportunity to create a new repeating invoice. And we want this um, transaction to repeat every month. And we're going to say it's going to be billed on the 1st of every month. And we'll just change the date so it's the 1st of April. So it's the month. And it's due uh, 15 days after invoice date and we've actually got a contract in this place you can have it optional but say if you had a contract for a year it would stop billing after one year um, so we're going to, to bill it to uh, McDonald Spring and Associates a reference um, we're going to call it monthly retainer um, the branding is going to be standard and we're going to have a look for some support We've already got that item already set up, and it's going to be showing. So we've got one item, five hundred dollars. Uh, it's going to the sales in account, and it's um, there's GST on income, which is just the, the tax rate. So we can see all these details here. We want to actually up here just approve and send, so it gets sends automatically. And there's an opportunity here to say, um, uh, put a, put a, to put your own message in for your, for the invoice that's automatically going to be sent. So we might say, uh, dear Sarah, please find attached uh, invoice for the. month of and they've got some short codes here so we can put in month and it will change it for whatever months it happens to be billing and any questions please call and we'll learn to spell please call kind regards and on that invoice, we've we've set some other details in that in the standard invoice. Um, we've we've set some details in respect of you know where it can be paid, whether it can be paid by PayPal, etc. And we just hit save. Now that invoice is is automatically ready to go out. Um, think if you want to go back in and edit that you can edit that invoice but that's it for the moment thank you